Corn blended ethanol has been a controversial topic since the increase in gas prices began affecting drivers over the last year. Since the blended fuel is still fairly new, few facts are known about the long-term effects on your car and the environment. We found some local farmers who are seeing significant changes in their production and sales. Though ethanol production is not extremely common in Oklahoma, corn farmers are facing changes due to the nation's increasing demand for corn. Uh, I definitely feel like the initial expense will be more than offset by the loss of income that I have from the eth ethanol. But right now, I've, my corn crop uh, doesn't depend on an ethanol plant. But indirectly, I say it, it is, it raised the price of my corn, uh, which it makes it possible for me. And in the same token, if I'm receiving more for my product, I can consequently pay more for my inputs. Uh, the deal with the corn based ethanol, it's, uh, it has its pros and cons. It, there is some advantage to it or some disadvantages, you know. The advantage, one advantage is it has shot the price of corn, you know, way up. You know, for years we've been used to getting two dollars, two and a half dollars a bushel for corn. Now, today we're getting six, seven dollars a bushel for corn, and you know, it, it has its advantages. The disadvantage is it has shot everything up to produce corn. There will always be a demand for corn, probably whether they do well or do poorly will depend more on the weather than it does on the markets. Farmers aren't the only ones experiencing differences in cost of food and fuel. The average consumer is spending over $4 per gallon for gasoline in the U.S., and the appearance of ethanol is not helping to decrease costs for drivers, though it may be helping gas production companies increase their profits. The price of the gallon of gasoline that you buy is going to depend upon the regular gasoline, not the ethanol component so that your retailers are blending, are, are getting as much ethanol as they can today, they're blending it into the gasoline, and they're getting a better margin because they can sell the cheaper ethanol at the high price that gasoline commands. Starch blended ethanol like corn ethanol is not the only biofuel affecting Oklahoma. Switchgrass research has expanded as a part of Governor Brad Henry's vision for tomorrow's Oklahoma. Oklahoma Bioenergy Center, including the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation, University of Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State University, are collaborating closely on researching switchgrass. Steve Rines, Vice President and General Counsel for the Noble Foundation, said, OBC is making an effort to introduce an ethanol industry into Oklahoma. Uh, part of that research is the establishment uh, and the investigation of using switchgrass as a a feedstock, meaning uh, uh, as, a, as the basic component from which you create uh, a, a transportation fuel. And in fact, um, this spring uh, we established a thousand acre farm uh, up near the Panhandle uh, and planted switchgrass over that thousand acres and it's coming into bloom uh, as we're talking today. Governor Brad Henry said the Oklahoma Bioenergy Center presents a great opportunity for us to research the science of using native plants such as switchgrass to produce ethanol. Switchgrass has several advantages over corn, requiring less water and fertilizer and not taking away from the food supply. It's an excellent prospect for developing Oklahoma's economy and weaning our country off of imported oil. I mean, our entire transportation system runs on foreign oil. That oil comes from nations that are either hostile uh, to our values or, and in some instances, uh, uh, unstable. That means that we are dependent on those foreign countries for our entire transportation. It means that we are transferring this year alone $700 billion overseas for foreign oil. Adam Calloway, Director of Public Relations for the Noble Foundation, said there are high hopes for the future of switchgrass production. Yeah, I think it's impossible to predict the future. This is Whitney Bryan reporting for Newstar.com.